Welcome back to my Survival Hunter soloing series. This time we're going to be doing the stockades. Uh, since the last run I have changed, made a macro to combine exhilaration with Gift of the Nauru. And the reason for this is because I tend to be a little conservative with my use of heals. Which isn't necessarily a good thing because if you die then, you know. Anyways, uh, but I've noticed I tend to use it when I'm pretty low anyways. And if I'm like about half, you know, which is what Exhilaration and Gift of the Nauru together will do. Uh, except for Gift of the Nauru is damage over time, or healing over time. Which, you know, if I'm to the point where I actually need a uh, that kind of a heal, then chances are um, the hot afterwards will not be a problem, is what I'm trying to get at. Okay, same as before. Put the bleed up on the elite. Raptor strike all the non elites to get them down. And then finish off the elite. Whew! Beaten. Oops. Misclick. It's not a problem, though. Moss Agate. Very good. Uh, for those who didn't catch it in my first series, um, come time to do no Morgan, there is a optional uh, quest item that drops in the instance, and among the follow-ups, you will need a Moss Agate. So, anytime I'm soloing by leveling dungeons, I'm always happy to find a Moss Agate along the way, because I know I will be using it. Alright, we're a little bit... Uh, focus dry at the moment, so I'm going to build a little bit up, just because it's the real elites and we're risking face pulling the boss, so I just want to have as much resources available to me as possible. I'm not worried about the boss, although if we did face pull him with these three, uh, it'd be a bit more fun. Oh, i got to get the men pet rolling. I was just about to point out that my pet wasn't losing that much health despite pulling three. Alright, that's level 29, not a significant level, but still welcome all the same. Hot's rolling, so we're going to bleed. Flanking strike, dump the mongoose bites. Flanking strike again to avoid capping. Keep the hot up, and then just play it by ear. Unfortunately, he vanished. If I had remembered that, I would have been... Alright, we'll do that. Mongoose bite before the buff falls off. Bleed back up. Bleed fell off, but he was about to die, so I didn't bother reapplying it. I know I have in other fights, but that time he was really so low, I didn't even think I'd get a tick off. Alright, and in my last series I had mentioned how the beginning of this hallway can get to be a little hairy just because there's patrols and mobs together, but... As survival, I kill things so quickly, I'm not really afraid of that, so that's what we're seeing here. Yep, and here's another one. So yeah, we just downed how many mobs in pretty quick succession there. Forgot to take uh, put the pet on assist since my last hatchet toss. Not a problem. Especially when you one-shot these elites. That's so awesome. I just did the Raptor Strike to soften him up. Wanted to pull a little focus because we were going to drive from pole to pole. Okay, we definitely want to take down... Oh, there isn't one. Wow, no casters in these groups. That's nice. A bit rare, but I'll take it. Um, these guys are a little bit on the tougher side, so I think when I go to do... Hey! <laughs> we'll just put there. I think when I go to pull these three, I'll put a bleed on one and save flanking strike for the others. I'm just going to melee him down to pull my focus. 
Time for Hogger. Okay, hot up. Lead up. Flanking strike to get him off of me. Dump the mongoose bites. Flanking strike to avoid capping focus. Keep the hot up. Bleeds off, so I'm gonna put it back up. Mongoose bites up while the buff's still going. And the boss is already practically dead. Lead off, I'll go ahead and put it back on. Piece of cake. It's not for us. None of these are for us, so we'll just go with the one that sells for the most. I usually do the uh, elemental wing first, just so you get all your quest turn ins at the end together. Not particularly important either way. That non elite just walked right by us? Oh, no, he didn't. Another moss I get. Wow. I don't mind. This guy's a caster, so I'm focusing on him first. We managed to not even pull the other fire element. That's pretty impressive. I didn't think that was possible. I thought they were linked. But I don't mind being wrong. Very fast run. Okay, hot up. Lead up. Flanking strike. Dump the mongoose spikes. Avoid camping focus. Hot back up. Wait for the bleed to fall. Mongoose bite was up, so I did it. We are just unloading. Don't rain on my parade. I'm having a good time. Brutal. And it's too bad I'm not soloing as a paladin, because I could use that. Those don't drop very often for me, so. And as I mentioned before, when you're soloing or yeah, soloing dungeons as a paladin, like the margin is much closer, so every little upgrade helps. So I would actually farm for items like that. Which in an instance like this isn't so bad. Just cause go in, choose one wing and you're good to go. Alright, but that's gonna do it for this one. Probably hit 31 with the turn in of this. I do thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Oh, and we got another talent. Might as well go ahead and take that now. Or talk about it now. Um, these the Murder of Crows is great, um, but as you can see we're killing trash mobs too quickly. We don't need that extra global cooldown, even though it doesn't... Oh, and it does consume focus. That's the that's the main reason why this would be bad. It refreshes itself, which is great, but we wouldn't be able to use it on uh, trash, and in terms of bosses, I think Snake Hunter is better. It basically allows us to get all six stacks of Mongoose Bite up. Now, keep in mind, Mongoose Bite, the buff it adds is 50% in its stack, so by the time we've got our three Mongoose Bites that we have now, the buff would be 150%. So Snake Hunter allows us to add three more. So this is going to be a significant improvement to our boss DPS um, as we sit right now. It's good, it's a little trouble because, you, you know, you start to cap your focus. So I will have to throw in another Flanking Strike, then Snake Hunter, throw in the other three Mongoose Bites, you know. Uh, i got to juggle the global cooldowns and my resources a little bit more, but... Uh, for this soloing instances, um, I do think Snake Hunter is the best talent here, so I will definitely be choosing that. Anyways, uh, we'll get to see how that plays out in the next video. I do appreciate you watching. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.